Hey everyone, this is Joel here from The Noble Artist, and I'm really excited today to show you guys my new custom LEGO 112th Attack Division. Um, this is Cody's squad, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I based these guys from the Clone Wars um, animated series. Um, before, they all looked like... Oh, I grabbed one guy that didn't look like... Um, they all look like this guy. They were all plain white. Um, I do not use Sharpies or decals. Um, everything you see is hand-painted. Um, with real metal armor um, that I put on here. Um, so yeah, everything is 100% made by me and custom. So um, yeah, these this is um, Boiler, this is um, Commander Cody, and this is Waxer. Um, I don't know a whole lot about these guys. I think um, the first episode that I saw them in um, was like the third from last um, in the se first season. Um, and they were trying to free those um, Twi'leks. Um, so yeah, I... I watched that video like a couple times, <laughs> at least five times, just trying to um, get these guys to be exactly like that. Um, so there are some things I didn't add that I wanted to, and there's things that I didn't want to add, but I put it on there just because I made them look just like that, just like the episode. So if you watch, if you ever watch it, um, just pause it on these guys, and, um, and you'll see exactly um, how much detail I put into it to make them look exactly the same. Um, so I'm just going to start it off. Uh, I'm going to go from uh, left to right. Start off with boiler. Boiler always seemed like the shoot first, ask question later kind of guy. Um, <clears throat> this guy is really awesome. Um, I, I really like the way he's turned out. Um, I tried some new designs for, for some of the armor, um, which I'll show you guys. Um, so we got the uh, shorter pads, really nice. Um, got the middle piece. Uh, got the ammo belt. See, I wanted to put like an orange stripe in these um, grooves like I normally do, but they didn't have them, um, so I didn't. Um, he's got the orange um, stripe here growing across his neck. Um, got the shorter pads. Now, the shorter pads I did a little bit different because um, they're not round completely. They kind of have a flat edge right there. <clears throat> um, and then another thing, I put the shorter pads on the on their actual shoulders because um, you know that's what they are in the in the show. So that's why I put them. I thought it looked good, um, so I did it. Um, got the gauntlets. Um, and they have these. Oops, sorry about that. They have these orange uh, markings going across the, like their sides, um, and their arms do move without scratching that off. Um, so he's got that going. He's got the back to tank. Um, I made the back to tank different because in the in the show that they're they're, they're plain white, um, so I just left it left it white. <coughs> um, get a little closer to that. Let's get these guys back. Um, and then another thing that I added, like the first time I did this, um, I put ammo packs. Whoa, keep I put ammo packs um, on the back right here because if you see a plane clone. Um, you can see the ammo packs stretch all the way around. So um, I decided to add some more detail and put, um, put two on each side. I've uh, got the same thing going on here. Um, got the back, I got the gray detail on his helmet on the back. I don't know why they put gray on them, but the helmets have, like all the clones have gray in the, in the series. So, um, so I'll put it in there, it looks, looks pretty good. Um, he's got the, uh, Boiler has these, uh, his um, ear pieces are, are orange, uh, waxers are plain white. Um, but his helmet's pretty simple. He just has like the orange stripe going across the top of his head. Um, then the maroonish triangle piece. Um, I know mine's kind of kind of small, but um, I didn't really have a lot of room on the head to do that. So and then he has this weird like eagle kind of symbol thing on his helmet. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be, but um, he has it. So I'll put it on there. Um, and then <clears throat> my camera wants to stay. All their helmets or all their heads have these neck guards going over them. Um, so yeah, let's get, this is Boiler. Um, pretty cool guy. I'll show you guys the guns last because um, they're all exactly the same. Um, even though they're all custom, I made them the same. Um, and a funny thing is, I made them. Um, I kind of messed them up. Um, but like, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, this is Commander Cody. Who doesn't like Cody, right? Um, he's one awesome dude. I already made a Cody, but it was um, a Phase Two Cody. Um, so um, it was a lot harder to make than this one. So I'm pretty pleased with the way I turned out, <coughs> or this guy turned out. Um, he's got the pretty much the same armor scheme. I'm just saying these two stripes, um, and then he has orange patches on either side or um, ammo, ammo packs. He has this cool like sun sunset kind of um, markings on his on his chest, um, and he also has like the communicators on his wrist. Um, hold on one second. I'm determined to get this picture to be the the main shot. 
of the of this because last time if you guys noticed it was like a rebel's head or a rebel's body without a head i do not want an eerie repeat of that oh man that was terrible um and then i also have a shout out to make at the end of this video so stay tuned okay back to cody back to the action okay so he's got two communicators Ooh. Yeah, i guess it would help if it focused before i got back into the action um so let's see focusing cool Alrighty, so we got the two communicators. He has the same wrist kind of thing going. Same same armor. Um, basically, it's painted a different way. Um, this cool antenna. Really nice um, off his shoulder. I think that's the right angle that I got it to. Um, so yeah, um, his helmet. He just has these like kind of uh, stripes going on on his chin. He doesn't really have a lot of color in his helmet. Or at least the face part. Um, but you know, it's okay. It works. Um, got the visor. Got the white stripe down the visor. And then... Whatever the heck this round thing is, I think it's like a flashlight. They don't really explain it too well. Um, then the antenna. Uh, moving to the back. Basically the same thing. My brother's going to walk in here, so don't don't pay any attention. Um, so that's that. Um, moving on to Waxer. <clears throat> this guy's probably my favorite. I'm not too sure why. Um, I guess it's just because of the way the, the helmet turned out. Um, Waxer was in the episode, kind of the, the softy, I guess you would say. Um, he took in the, the little toilet. Um, get this to focus. Okay, now Waxer and Boiler, Boiler, their armor is basically the same. I just The only difference is really their helmet. I kind of made them at the same time. Um, so you can see he has the same armor. Um, I wanted it to look exactly the same because they are like the same soldier with just, just different helmets to distinguish. Um, but yeah, he's got the same knee pads, same middle piece, same belt. Um, his arms move without scratching the orange off. Um, <clears throat> and his helmet, his helmet has um, that little orange stripe on his chin. Um, and then like the orange stripe going down the back, which you can see is really, really straight. I did a really good job painting this. I took my time. Because um, I had a lot of fun with these guys. Um, and then he has the tally marks. Um, those are, I put those on by hand. That's not a decal. Um, it took me a long time to get it right and a lot of tries to get it right. Um, and he has two more steps on that side. Um, got the gray. They just have gray on the back. I would have I would have jazzed this up with some other de other accents, but um, I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. <clears throat> um, so yeah, this is uh, this is my waxer. Um, his head is exactly the same. Same thing. Same as Cody. Same as everybody else. Um, so that's him. And then I'll show you guys the guns real quick. The funny thing about the guns is, um, I was looking at a picture so I can get them exactly right. Um, and then when I finally made all of them, I realized I was making a, a Stormtrooper blaster, like with the old school Stormtroopers. Um, but there's not really a whole lot of difference in the blasters from the new ones. Um, I think the clip is on the wrong side, um, and that's about it. Um, let me get this to focus for you. Really nice blaster. I really like the way these turned out. Um, got a piece of metal right there, um, I, and then these two metal bars on either side. I think that's supposed to be like a foldable stock. Um, but I kind of messed it up because I wasn't. I was making the wrong gun. Um, got the scope. Uh, clip going off the side. The clip's supposed to be on the other side <coughs> for the new ones. Um, but it's what it is. And then. Let's see, I'm trying to stall time because I want this to be at least 10 minutes long, so the main shot will be the one that I was talking about earlier when I was holding it still. Um, but as you can see, they're all exactly the same. Pretty cool stuff. Did a good job. Um, so now I just need to sit here and stall for about 10, about 30 more seconds. Um, so I guess... I'll just do another pan shot. If I can talk to my brother who just walked in. <laughs> nope, I changed my mind. I'm turning these guys back around. Oh, I was gonna make a shout out. Um, quick shout out um, to my sister Katie. Um, she's an amazing artist herself, um, and she really likes my. She's a fan of my customs. Um, so to Katie, hi, Ashdelu. Um, so yeah, you're awesome and. That's about it, guys. Um, thanks for watching this. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. You guys have an awesome day, and God bless.